Hey YouTube and thank you for watching Junk Works DIY Garage. We are getting ready to paint. And so for that I went ahead. I tried to, I have an old Graco gun and I can't get it to work. So I decided to uh, go out and hopefully someday I can get the Graco working again, but I need to get this done. So I figured I'm gonna bite the bullet and try and uh, try out this Harbor Freight one. It's a uh, Kraus and Becker, I believe, is it? And it's 5 8 horsepower airless paint sprayer. Uh, all over the place, people saying these are great guns. Even a few professionals out there say they do a good job. So I decided it was on sale in uh, one of the coupon things that they send you for like a hundred and I think sixty-eight dollars, which is way less than any comparable one. It does about yeah, the same thing. The biggest and we'll see what's inside. That was quick and easy. It comes with the instructions of what to do. I'll read through those a little bit here. Um, some little tools, a little screen. This might be pieces that go like into the paint gun. I'm pretty sure this is the, the gun head here. I think my Graco one, by the looks of it, will probably fit this one, which I hope because I have an extension for my Graco one. I actually did work as a professional, I don't know, painter. Um, I actually worked on houses that probably today would be considered million dollar houses. Um, I worked for a guy that did really high end, good paint jobs, and I'm about to not show you how to do that. Um, you know, I did my fair share of what I needed to do for prep and stuff, but uh, in all actuality, uh, probably not a lot more than I did. Technically, if you want to be, you're not really, I don't know, technically you shouldn't put primer through the same gun as you paint with. I don't know with house paint if that so much is uh, an issue. No idea what that is. But uh, with automotive paint, you definitely want to use separate guns. I'm going to use the same gun for both and uh, just clean it really good in between. So there's the hose, the box, what well, looks like a cup holder, which I'm sure has some sort of little plug uh, here, which I'm going to put in there. And uh, I'm going to kind of shut this thing down. I'm going to look through the instructions to see what I need to do. It doesn't appear like I need to do a whole lot other than maybe prime this thing. I might need a, there might be oil and stuff in here that they put in for shipping so uh, we'll probably run some clean water through it first at the very least but I will look at the manuals here and do what so, it says to do. Uh, in the effort of trying to make sure that the screen is in here because I don't know, they, it came with one, I don't know if it's actually in here but uh, I can't by hand get this off of here and actually I'm going to bring it up a little bit um, so it does on the body part here have two flat spots to hold this with and then you got to undo this bottom nut here and uh, I could not get it by hand so I am hoping oh my god yet again don't know why this is on here so tight I've seen got interrupted there but uh this should not be on here as tight as it is and i've heard other people talk about how tight this was before so um i'm gonna wrestle with this a bit you know what i'm gonna go with the big one here and Okay, that was ridiculous, but it feels like it did come. Yep. And either it broke or it came loose. If the actual thing is in here. It wasn't actually in my Graco one, so there's a spring behind it, and that is in there. So it comes with an extra one of those, and it is in there, so at least. You may want to try and break this loose first anyway though, 
before you use it just in case for some reason it breaks while you're trying to loosen it up then you can take it back and say it was ridiculously on there if you want proof watch the tell them to watch my video so i'm going to snug it up but it does not need to be reefed on the way it was on there so on and then a bump always if you need to tighten it more you can tighten it more if you tighten it too much you mess things up all right so i'm going to bring this in the camera and we're going to go start priming it so this is on high spray so there's all the way down then there's a roller and prime and clean so i'm assuming up is yeah there's a little red arrow here for have the prime one straight up here i just got a fairly clean bucket right here of water so i'm going to let's see here spray so that way prime is down so the spray goes up prime goes down let's see pressure too oh, there's a pressure release down here too okay so we're going to turn it on I got plugged in. I have no idea where the on button is. Here it is. Oh, there's a little sticker over it. If you don't clean your sprayer out, they won't accept returns. It primed out of there now it talks about two buckets this is water with maybe a little bit of oil that was shipped in um, I thought about putting it actually back in here just to keep the water but then I realized you probably don't want to spray your oil back in there it always talks about priming with this out but once you've done this and cleaned it out I don't know why you'd have to prime paint into another bucket or instead of just putting it back in but that's up to you what you want to do um, I think it is time now to prime the hose so I'm gonna flip it forward uh, I'm gonna leave it on this I have it in the clean out position so this knob right here that's for spraying that's for cleaning out I'm just gonna leave it in the clean out see what Well, it appears to be spraying water. I think I'm ready to kind of probably start paint, doing some primer. But I got too late of a start today. I'm going to come back tomorrow and start that. What are, we're leaking out of something here. Is that? Well, it is leaking a little bit out of here, it looks like. That sucks. It is leaking a little bit out of here, so I'm going to have to do some tightening on that. I don't wonder if there's supposed to be an O-ring or something, and they just cranked it on there. Or it's threaded. I do not like how tight that needs to be, if that's how tight it needs to be. Now it's not leaking anymore, so I think we're good to go. Now, I'm going to once again put this on priming right there I'm going to flip this down so that it primes back into the hose I got I it set can prime see and I got it priming into the hose here now I'm gonna 
I'm debating on if I want to dirty this hose or just let some water go down into here. I can't see having a little bit of extra water in here really matter that much. I can see when I do the hose out to the gun, I may want to shoot that outside until it primes that. But I think the water that's in here, I'm not going to worry about too awful much. That way I don't have to clean out a whole other bucket. We'll see. Uh, we'll see if there's a different way. I'm going to stick that down into the bucket too. We're going to flip this over to the hose here. And this goes. So I got you on my kind of test wall here. Uh, if you watched my one when I did the texturing, you'll know that this wall is where all the uh, cupboards are going so it doesn't really matter what happens here uh, at least up in the upper half so I'm going to do some testing here and see what happens I got the actual nozzle that this gun came with now when I was priming it you noticed I had this split this way with a jet coming out and then at the end I turned it this way and had the fan uh, when you have it with this big end facing there I believe well I could be wrong yep well, that's more texture. Uh, big end, I don't know why you wouldn't put the small end and make that the nozzle. Regardless, I think this might be better. One end just shoots a stream, the other end shoots the fan. So you gotta make sure Try that's this. set right. Should probably have a mask of some sort on, but in some safety stuff and all that. But right now I'm just kind of testing. I'm gonna have my son actually come out and help me with this. And uh, that's one thing, the hoses on pretty much all these guns that I've ever used are very, difficult to maneuver they're they're not like an air hose they're kind of a little bit rougher to do i'm sure you can buy expensive ones that are better but anyhow you might need another person to help you maneuver your hose around when you're inside i have this uh, i turned it all the way up and then turned it back uh, just a little bit Let's see, it's got different settings on it. You're going to have to kind of adjust the nozzle to see where you want to be. And you want to do, I would do with primer especially, probably about what they call a 75%, between 50 and 75, where you go across here, you go halfway, go this way. I tend to not go quite halfway and do about a 75. You also don't want to be doing this. You want to try and keep it straight to the wall. And usually I'm used to letting off the gun and air blowing, but because this is airless, it's just pumping. I'll have to figure that out. You might not even have to worry about letting off the gun. Although I would at the end of each run let off the nozzle because if you don't you'll tend to have a real wet spot here and a real wet spot there in fact that ran over there where i did where i kind of stopped and just kind of held it so um yet again these are all things you're going to have to figure out as you're doing it it's not difficult Maybe. 
putting this on a little bit wet actually. I'm going to have to back off when I do my paint or I'm going to wind up with runs. It's been a long time since I messed with one of these so you know it's one of those things you, I got to get the feel of. Good that's going to cover. That's that. something too when you're done with your gun here hopefully you can see this. Uh, I'm just taking one of the pieces of the plastic here and covering this up and that'll keep it from drying out too much, hopefully. Um, while I'm getting my safety equipment and getting ready I'm to really I'll show you my setup down. here. Um, as you can see, hopefully, you probably can't even tell, but it's all painted. Everything, including the bedroom, is all done and painted. I'll probably do a walkthrough here pretty soon. Um, Regardless, this is my setup here. Now, um, normally, I would buy a bucket like this as a lid on it if I ended up with five gallons of regular one gallon paint cans because they couldn't put it in a five gallon for some reason at the paint store. But regardless, um, I got a pretty good deal on it anyway and uh, they couldn't do it. So I went and bought this cheap, obviously where it's from, bucket here. They have these lids here, and I tried buying these, and they didn't have them at the store either. So I don't know why there's a shortage on those kind of buckets, but there is. Regardless, I bought this, bought the lid, drilled a hole in it, dumped all five gallons of paint in here so that I can... Because that does seem to work better with a five-gallon bucket now. I don't know why people felt the need to lift those things up, but sitting on the ground, it works pretty good. In fact, I have that underneath there, tilting it to get the last little bit out. Um, seems to work really good. Um, when I open it up, maybe we'll look and see how much is That's left, what's in there. left in there. I, There's not a whole lot left. You know, maybe, I don't know. You can kind of see the, where that line is right in the, right there. Uh, there's just not a whole lot in there. So it sucked it up pretty good, especially considering, you know, on the end of that, it's got a filter that's yay big, so. I'm pretty happy with that. I'll go ahead and tip that upside down and probably try and finish that off into the bucket. And I'm not going to show you everything. This is my cleanup setup. Basically, clean bucket of water. Well, fairly clean. But because this is all dirty, it's going to get dirty. But I'll run through the primer hose until it sprays clean. And through this hose until it sprays clean. I'm going to clean this off in here best I can so it's good and clean and then I'll actually run this through like this uh, and then just keep switching this bucket out each time uh, for cleaner and cleaner water until when I put this in here it quits looking like milk or whatever color you um, paint. this here which looks like a cup holder actually is supposed to go on the paint machine I don't know exactly why if it's just to roll the uh, cord up into and stuff it into or so you can put your beer in it when you're painting and put Honestly, that little, I don't uh, know. thing on there now on the picture it shows it out here but it seems to work better over here and it seems to be actually the way i think they planned on this working and basically when i was cleaning it out and stuff i kept setting this on the ground going man i should and then i'd throw like a a uh, rag underneath it or something but if this would have been on there i would have thrown that in there and that would have contained it not to mention it's a good place to roll up and store your cord so it's out of the way and you can just pick the whole thing up anyhow little things i i wish i knew before i started it also with this. comes with the screw and the tool to put that on okay then it comes with uh this is what came out of the gun here the screen and it comes with an extra one of those. Well, YouTube, my first uh, foo bar here. That right there is a piece of this, which is your filter. And quite honestly, it's been a couple days. I did throw this in some water to try and clean it out. And I don't know, for some reason, I, I must have just waited too long to actually do the cleaning. And I couldn't get this filter clean. But I also could not get this filter off of here without cutting it off. I tried pulling at the the piece here to try and pull it out and stuff and I could not get it off with that and I ended up breaking it. 
uh, I also tried pulling it out by this end and ended up messing this up. So I'm going to have to see if I can get a piece to replace this with or we're just going to go without it in this gun and uh, just throw the, the other one back in uh, the way it is. My other gun didn't have one of these in it. I do find that a lot of the Graco stuff seems to be fitting on this gun. So... I may go see if I can find a Graco version of this, um, but also I can probably throw the other filter on. Let's see if we. Can and there do are that. no instructions on this. It just comes with this extra filter, and it doesn't have the tube in it. So you have to take off the old one and push the new one on here, which it doesn't seem to be wanting to push on very easily without messing it up too. So. I guess twisting it and pushing it at the same time might do it. But regardless, I'm not going to do it on video. This is my stuff now. I'm going to have to hopefully find another one. Um, I may be able to clean this up and put this in in there. This end seems to be just a plug. It doesn't actually go all the way through. Let's see if I can get this off. Uh, see, there's, it's a plugged in, so only one end actually allows the, it to flow through, and then it comes out these little holes here. Um, quite honestly, I just, I've never seen this, don't never used one before, but regardless, I'll probably try and see if I can reuse this one next time. If it doesn't work, I'll have to figure something out. Um, but also, that just shows you need to pull this out and definitely clean it right away otherwise it it'll get to the point where you just can't clean it so anyhow thought i should throw that in there just so you all know cut the cut this piece off of the here and then try and put it back on uh, also bummer. with the tip here inside there is this and on the back of that's the little black gasket and it comes with an extra one of those that's all fine and dandy. I was able to get the tip which goes in the gun here uh, out and it has a little washer that goes on the, on it. I honestly don't know if there's one direction or not. But I'm going to put it on that way. I was able to get that out. But here's the problem. I have other paint guns and I tried all my paint gun tools. I can't get this off of here so that I can, you know, take this piece off to clean it and also to get to all the parts and pieces in here. Now I probably could take it off here, but um, I don't know. I don't really want to mess with that right now. So I was hoping I could take this off and just kind of clean in there a little better, but um like i said it doesn't come with the tool to get that off and none of the tools i have from my other paint guns just in a regular wrench won't go on there so some point i'll have to take that off but i'm gonna i think i got it cleaned out pretty darn good um i did notice after i pulled everything apart and clean i cleaned everything and then pulled everything apart that there was quite a bit of stuff down in there so i had to go in there and and stuff this in a bucket of water and just kind of swish it around and it looks good and clean in there now, along with this too, this here. So I'm pretty happy with it right now. Um, I am gonna have to spray some more primer next because I need to do some stuff in the room, but you know, I'm not gonna show all that. Um, I'll probably go back when I'm done painting, maybe do an end video there on the painting part. But for right now, I could clean it apart, clean it fairly well with what I could pull apart, uh, but it doesn't give you a tool to really pull everything apart. You'll have to find something that can go on the end of this and decide I need to mess with pulling this apart, but I'm not going to do that right now. Maybe somewhere down the road we'll do some more on it. Something I will say, this leaked. The tip, it leaked right out of here. So... I don't know because this thing keeps kept falling apart like when I it didn't fall apart once I put it back together everything's fine but once you take that piece off the end this just falls out so I'm kind of thinking maybe this gasket isn't sealing very well and I'll need to put this one on but yet again I'm gonna wait till I do paint before I already use my I was parts, able so. to use my extension on there 
Although I do think the seal inside here uh, went bad because it worked fine for a while and then after a while it started leaking. Um, this is an extension. I know you can't get it all in, but these are really nice to have to avoid ladders. Um, anyhow, so that seems to work on there. That was for my Graco one. Also for my Graco one is this uh, orange tip here which also seemed to fit fine i didn't have any leaks with this uh, that was fine the only problem i had is with this piece here that comes with my graco this is the graco one it is a 517 and it didn't want to keep up with this this one sprayed too much um it, it seemed like it was overpowering a little bit plus it didn't work well for painting anyway for me in this gun um i've heard people say you got to get a different tip you got to get a different tip something i will say is this tip does actually for the graco one fit into this i didn't know that before but it fits fine um so if you want to go buy better tips you can uh, whether or not the machine will work for what you want it to that's or for the pressure you need now this one that came with the gun is a 515 so but the orifice on this is just way quite a bit smaller i don't know if you can well okay quite a bit smaller i don't know if you can see that but there's the spray pattern there um this is the biggest difference there's the clean out hole right there in different sizes so regardless it's a much bigger tip for only a couple couple sizes bigger according to numbers anyway um anyway this worked great um maybe with the bigger one the primer might have flowed a little better i don't know because primer is usually thicker but for paint this worked perfectly good for me and i'm very happy with how it turned out so um and the piece that was in here this actually did quit leaking after a while it seemed to just i had a, i shoved it in there really good and actually used the back end of a of a wrench to push it down in there and kind of seat it good and then it it quit leaking so the leaking problem seemed to go away after a while uh, okay might... now it's time to start putting this away for storage uh it's actually been a couple days later it says to do it within 48 hours i'm probably a little over that i can't remember if it's been two or three days things are starting to just move together here but regardless um to do that and it seems counterintuitive to put oil in this put it away but uh to do that you gotta undo these here which they're just a couple of little uh band clamps basically is all they are and uh, go ahead and pop off the hoses well it's easier said than done obviously well after getting you out of my way and and uh manhandling these things i uh finally got them off Ugh. Get a rag here. Starting to wonder if I hoping I clean this up good enough. Uh, the water was going pretty clean, but regardless, uh, we're gonna throw some oil in here, and I'm using my marble mystery oil. Now I know they make an oil for this. They also, um, but I've I've heard you can put just about anything in here. Uh, this is a chance to actually kind of see how this thing was built. And then like right here and here, these are really bad, poorly fitted and welded together. But regardless, the machine worked great. Uh, so I'm just going to put a few drops, probably too many. And then in each one of these ports here, that one's a little harder. Okay, that's probably more than I needed, but for the first time we'll overdo it i guess let that kind of sit in there for a little while here there. do its thing and then i have it plugged in here and i guess the next part is you're supposed to flip this forward i'm going to put it on i believe you know it's been a little while since i read it but as low as it'll go uh as far as the pressure and then you're supposed to put a ho uh, rag over the top of the front of this and go ahead and run it for just like a few seconds like five okay maybe not 
I might need to pump it up more. All right, supposedly that's all you're supposed to do. So I ended up with this to run. Uh, it's on uh, the cleaning and, uh, oh my goodness, priming. Priming and cleaning section right here is straight up. There's an arrow right here so you know which section it is. After a while, this is going to get covered up. So you kind of need to figure that out, get the feel of it. But uh, supposedly that's all you need to do. A little few drops of oil, run it for five or eight seconds, something like that, and uh, should be ready to be put away. Uh, if you don't do this, then people say you have big problems with it rusting inside here and clogging up and what nots and what for. So, in uh, the end, I am extremely excited about this. I, I'm very happy with what it's done. It's done a very good job. Um, so, you know, I would I would easily buy this again and again for the, the one job, let alone the fact I'm going to be painting my house hopefully this summer. If not, next summer for sure. It's just got to be done. Um, so I'll be using it for that. I did store it so I can store it for, or put it away so I can store it for a while. So we'll know when I pull this out again and I go to paint my house, I will do another video. Or if I use this again, I will do another video of how it's stored, what I had to do to get it running if there's a problem with it. Because I do know every now and then stuff gets stuck in these regardless of how well you clean them out. And you end up having to clean them out. So we'll see how easy it is to do that. Hopefully... I'll pull it out, set it up, clean out whatever oil is still left inside of it, and start painting. That's that's my hope anyway. Um, anyhow, I would go buy it as a DIY homeowner. Thank sure. you for watching Junkworks DIY Garage, where I'm proud to say I'm a jack of all, and I'm obviously master of none. You all have a good one.